Hello students, my name is Adil Abbas and in this lecture we will learn about what is physical chemistry, what is its history, its scope and importance of physical chemistry in modern world. So let us start our lecture by defining what is physical chemistry. Physical chemistry basically is a study of energy and matter. It basically tells us how these two elements, energy and matter, interact with each other in various environments. And by various environments, we mean different chemical reactions occurring in different conditions. So this is all about physical chemistry definition. So let us move towards its history. Physical chemistry is study of physical phenomena associated with chemical system. It is a clear fact. Uh, physical chemistry has been grown from a combination of many other sciences including experimental physics and quantum mechanics. The term physical was coined by chemist Ernest Mack in 1883 to designate what he called the science that deals with matter as it appears at absolute zero temperature. And today we know this not to be true, for example ice can exist but they are different substances than water molecules. The history of physical chemistry begins about uh, back into 1665 when Robert Wall discovered his law linking pressure and volume during gas expansion together under constant temperature conditions. Uh, this law is also known as Boyle's law. Uh, this discovery laid the groundwork for thermodynamics which led uh, into kinetic theory developed around 18. 40 uh, by a German physicist okay but physical chemistry was founded as a formal discipline uh, in a late 18 through the efforts of scientists such as J. Williard Gibbs, Cook and Amido Avogadro and uh, who this is all in scientists introduced the concepts like chemical potential or reaction equilibrium to explain bulk phenomena observed in their experiments with cases. So they also contributed greatly to the other areas of chemistry by drawing attention to the problem caused by decomposition reaction and these reactions have not been noticed before uh, and providing explanation for them based on kinetic theory. And uh, in 1875 German chemist Hermann uh, Vogel basically discovered an organic substance urea that reacts uh, with concentrated nitric acid but does not uh, react appreciably with hydrochloric acid or sulfuric acid. So therefore he called this newly found compound the physical chemist stone. Uh, with the invention of modern technology, uh, basically the physical chemistry has become more accessible. For example, the refinement and production of chemicals from the crude oil to plastics uh, is done on a large scale with an understanding obtained through physical chemistry. So this is all about the uh, history of uh, physical chemistry. Uh, now let us talk about the scope of the physical chemistry. Scope of the physical chemistry basically it is a branch of science that studies the uh, interaction between matter and energy. So this will encompasses everything from nanotechnology to astrophysics. On the other hand but it uh, also translates it to basically applications like environmental engineering and biochemistry. In this way physical chemists can be found in some of the most unlikely places. In physics for example physicists study how particles interact with each other at atomic length scales or higher level of organization. But these are well below where we observe behavior on our macroscopic scale. Physicists who specialize in quantum physics uh, basically might work on projects like uh, related to superconductivity or molecular bonding with our, without ever thinking about what they happen what, what may happen when they come up against a brick. Physical chemists would also then take over and use their knowledge of physics to look at uh, how these processes affect macroscopic properties. Physical chemists can also be found in medical industry as toxicologists and pharmacologists who work on their molecule on a molecular level to understand how drugs interact with the human cells or protein. In this way, 
Physical chemistry is applied by studying everything from semiconductors, from your computer CPU to molecules that carry messages through our bodies via uh, through neurotransmitters. Physical chemistry is also crucial because it bridges the gap between small scale processes governed by atomic interaction and large scale phenomena like global warming. So without understanding emergent behavior across scale, we, could, we would not know uh, whether, where to direct research efforts. A famous example of physical chemical uh, application includes pollution control devices such as filter used on car exhaust system, often called catalytic converters. Overall, physical chemistry is vast and can serve the humanity in a better way. So let us talk about the importance of physical chemistry in our daily lives. Physical chemistry is a study of molecules, atoms and matter and it has an important role in our lives because it provides us with better understanding about how materials behave on scale that are too small to see with a, without a microscope. It also helps uh, researchers create new ways to make things like medicine, plastics, fuels, and other products uh, which can improve people's health or well-being. The study of physical chemistry is also important because it is one of the most fundamental sciences that helps uh, that help uh, us understand how nature works. Uh, it also enables chemists to develop new types of material for use in products such as plastics and medicines. Physical chemistry has a significant impact on our lives uh, as it plays an important role in understanding how molecules behave. How molecules behave at uh, scales too small to be seen without a microscope or other instruments. Physical chemistry also can help researchers create better drugs, fuel sources and many others that improve people's health or well-being. The study of physical chemistry is extremely fundamental are foundational because it helps us understand how nature behaves which allows scientists to like chemists to develop new types of materials from for invention like medicines and plastics. Overall, this field impacts our daily lives. The importance of physical chemistry in our daily lives comes from its ability to provide insight about what happens at microscopic level. Uh, this field can also help researchers create new ways for products such as medicine and field resources that might improve people's health. So let us now talk about the uses of physical chemistry. We know that physical chemistry is a study of matter, energy and their interaction and therefore it has multiple uses. Its application can be seen in many fields including medicine, environmental applications, polymer science and nanotechnology. So let us explore 10 applications that you may not have known about before. Forensic. This is the first and most important use of physical chemistry when a criminal leaves behind evidence at a crime scene such as hair or blood samples. Then these are analyzed using various techniques from physical chemists to help identify them. And it is the most important in the criminology field. Plastic and surgery. Uh, chemical used during surgeries like silicone for breast uh, augmentation and that have been developed by chemical engineers which requires an understanding of how different chemicals interact with each other when they come into contact with human tissue. So this knowledge also helps in developing new substances to make sure to make uh, surgery safer and more effective. Uh, in cleansing agents, a lot of cleansing agents we use in our homes and offices are based on compounds from physical chemistry. For example, different types of detergents have been developed as well as cutting fluids for surgery application. Air quality, the quality of air we breathe is also dependent on application from physical chemistry. Air pollution can be identified and monitored using various tools including gas chromatography to detect different chemicals that may be present in the atmosphere. Uses of physical chemistry in textile, there are many applications of physical chemistry that can be seen in textile industry. For example, polymers such as nylon and rayon used to make cloth and these have been developed by chemists to produce material with various properties for different applications. Pharmaceutical, it is probably the most important use of physical chemistry and we know the application of physical chemistry in pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical industry can be seen with many drugs. For example, antibiotics are often developed by for specific illness and may contain a number of different chemicals to act on bacteria as well as 
other applications like inhalants, which affect how we breathe. Uses of physical chemistry in building materials, chemists, uh, we know now they are developing such materials that can be used in building materials. For example, uh, polymers like acrylic or urethane are used in high right building as well as places such as hospitals and schools where they may be exposed to water damage. Personal care, you may you might not have thought about it before because but applications of for physical chemistry are often used in personal care industry. For example, hair dye is a mixture of chemicals and other applications like nail polish can be seen for its durability and glossy glossy finish. Uses of physical chemistry in food the application of physical chemistry can be seen in the food industry and it is helping the human uh, to develop such material to preserve the food. This is a revolutionary step of physical chemistry in food industry. For example, there are many applications for preserving and storing different types of foods as well as developing preservation, preservative, preservative to prevent spoilage as, such as adding vitamin C which can act as an antioxidant preventing chemical changes for, um, from happening that cause food to go off. Uses of physical chemistry in weather forecasting. The application of physical chemistry are not limited to food and domestic purposes only. These uses of physical applications developed by the physical chem chemists are also being used in meteorological department. The application of physical chemistry can also be seen in weather industry, for example, by studying how particles such as water vapor and dust interact with each other, we are able to predict when different types of storm will happen uh, using computer modules. So student, this is all about uh, the introduction to physical chemistry. Hope you will learn from this lecture. And for more videos, you are requested to subscribe this YouTube channel.